You hear about all this research that's going on and you don't really understand it until you get to see a running lab and then reading research and writing papers on it and then finally meeting the person who wrote and published the research. It's inspiring. <laughs> it, it makes you want to go and, and be a part of all of it. There was a, such a variety of stuff they were doing there, and it was really interesting. There are people doing brain cancer research, there are people doing visual research and vestibular research. We went to seven different labs in Berlin and Munich. It was really neat to see people who were published in high-profile journals. It was neat to see like how they actually did the research. I'm sort of interested in development, and particularly neurogenesis in the brain, and how that if neurogenesis gets out of control, how that leads to brain tumors. Germany is one of the leading nations for neuroscience research. Dr. George Boyens is looking at the Drosophila and also grasshoppers. It's interesting because you can relate things from the grasshopper and the fly all the way to mammals and humans and apply different things that you discover from these invertebrate models to human brain tumors. I was also interested in Dr. Mario Willeman, and he researched the evolution of the telencephalon, which is the forebrain. His talk was really cool, and he later came and went with us to the Max Planck Institute of Ornithology, which was really fun also. I think the culture really surprised me. People were really friendly, especially in Munich. I wasn't really sure what I was going to expect because I sort of was thinking it's like some small German town but it, actually Munich felt a lot like Charleston, very historic and kind of a bigger city, but feels like kind of close and like you're not lost there. Berlin has a very <laughs> interesting atmosphere. There's a lot of energy there and there's a lot of excitement, but they're also like very intelligent people who um, do a lot of amazing research there too. We got to see their Capitol building. We took a tour around in it because it's a giant glass dome. We got to tour the Natural History Museum and we got to go in the back and have like a VIP tour of their collections. All the stuff they keep in there but not on display. So that was really neat. Just having the opportunity to go over and see all their labs. And German's my foreign language so I also have the opportunity to learn a second language and do research and it's just a nice place to be.